We can use any of these and just do whatever we want to her. Hey! It's the House MD season 7 finale, episode 23, moving on. On this channel, we are reacting to all 177 House episodes, and this will be episode 155. Let's see if I can get the diagnosis before House does, as a doctor working in London with just three guesses. So he didn't threaten you? No. Was there any indication that something would happen? Every moment I spent with him. It's always waiting for something to happen. If Greg House steps foot in my hospital again, I want him thrown in jail. We can use any of these and just do whatever we want to her. Hey! Is there a good part? It's performance art. She just won the MacArthur. I subscribe to her patient file. Like skipping ahead to minute 37. I'm not gonna watch a woman get set on fire. Philistine. One man's crazy is another woman's art. Shaving your entire body in public while wearing a monkey mask. She saw her mom commit suicide. She's not nuts. Maybe the paint thinner set off an allergic reaction. There was a space heater next to her in the gallery. Carbon monoxide poisoning. Put her in a hyperbaric chamber. Lisa, I'm oh, sorry, I'm Jerry Barrett. I recognize you from the photos. I'm friends with your sister. She wanted to set us up. I want things to go back to the way they were before we started dating, just work. I should have known the gallery wasn't ventilated enough. You weren't really gonna let that guy set you on fire. He was just a plant to get the crowd going, right? If that's your interpretation. He was real and a total dick. I feel... <laughs> it's a gestational sack. Can't see anything this early. Cozy home for little Reuben. Jerry is cute. He's a bad house. What? I could have lived my whole life happily not knowing what happens when art meets arson, but here we are. In all fairness, I think I know what inspired this scene, and it's a little dark. Back in 1974, a Serbian performance artist named Marina Abramovic set up an exhibition in Naples. Marina laid on a table and in front of her were 72 items with some representing pleasure like a rose, feather or perfume and some representing pain like scissors, a scalpel and a gun with a separate bullet. They wanted to see how far the public would go if they removed the threat of punishment. They encouraged the audience to do what they wanted for the six hour exhibition and to begin with people were apprehensive with a light touch but by hour three all her clothes had been cut off and I don't want to go into the details but eventually someone pointed a loaded gun at her to see if she would react and another faction of the audience had to stop the trigger being pulled. An interesting exploration into what would happen if we weren't governed by the rule of law although I imagine the actions heavily depended on who was in the audience. Our patient may not see another audience though if we don't figure out what's wrong with her, so what do we know so far? Well, she collapsed after being covered in paint stripper, was in a poorly ventilated room, and now with as good a ventilation as possible with 100% oxygen, she's started to vomit. That tells us two things. It's probably not a ventilation problem and it's probably not the art exhibit's fault. I say that as well because the other people there were also exposed to most of what was happening and it was still only her that got sick while her symptoms remain even after leaving the area. So what else could this be? Well, we can presume she does other art exhibitions as well since she has shaved her whole body publicly while wearing a monkey mask. Could there be delayed effects from there? Or could it be from witnessing her mother end her life or the abuse from her father? The team also mentioned she gets paid quite handsomely from all of her performances and that she's recently broken up with her assistant. Oh. I have a theory. See, the assistant seems possessive over her and apparently had written love letters to her previously. What would also be a type of art in itself is if his efforts to try and protect her, he's also somehow led to her sickness. Like the ones closest to us can hurt us the most. Maybe he's been getting specific organic foods for her with her big budgets that have actually not been as pesticide free as they should have been. Usually there would be other symptoms Symptoms in pesticide poisoning like slow heart rate, narrow pupils or abdominal pain but it can cause vomiting. The episode is called Moving On as well 
So surely indicating that the breakup is somehow important, especially when House and Cuddy are working through their own relationship situation as well. And this other guy, Jerry, that her sister is trying to set her up with has also entered the picture. Oh, that could work well. Okay, I'm going for organophosphate poisoning through ex-boyfriend, current assistant as my first diagnostic guess. Also interested to see how on earth House ended up leading what looks like the disaster management services to the hospital. Let's find out. She got worse in the hyperbaric chamber. It's not CO poisoning. Test the assistant. I couldn't get his attention. He was in a daze. Did he bring anything from the patient room to the treatment room? Stuffed elephant. Go address the elephant in the room. This is a nanny cam. We've become her latest work of art. Ultrasound showed a cyst on her pancreas. We drained Why it. Why are you even discussing this case? Coxsackie B fits, but do a spiral CT of her biliary tree to rule out gallstones. I fear dizzy. AP 80 over 40. Internal bleeding? Get her out of here and scope her. No blood. Free. So where's the blood going? We've never even had a conversation about our breakup. You are obviously still angry at me. Lunch at one tomorrow in the cafeteria. You happy? Patient is a fraud. Found a puncture in the dorsal vein of her left foot. The browser history on our laptop helped. She was researching blood doping, among other things. She's researching me? For months. She set you up. I thought you would understand someone who uses their work to deal with pain. I did the blood doping to intrigue you, but I was already ill. This is a puzzle tailor made for you. Do you really want to end it now? No. We got a blood culture. Check for parasites and bacteria. This I'll do it. It might seem like this doping dupe and lack of clues is now basically pin the tail on the diagnosis donkey, but there's no doping that can place a cyst on her pancreas. Objective versus subjective will help to set them apart, but that then rules out any symptoms, meaning that they'd have to go based on signs instead. No wonder House enjoys this since it does up the difficulty a lot, considering that the internal classification of disease lists 70,000 diagnosis codes, although some are different types of the same disease. There's also another clue here as well, and that is that the assistant was spacing out. Presumably he wasn't doping himself, meaning that clue is genuine. So two people affected by this mysterious puzzle means realistically it's not gonna be genetic cancer or metabolic, it's most likely toxic or infectious. It seems though that considering she was so frustrated about this that she had to create a puzzle for a diagnostician to specifically solve that it must have been going on for a while as well. All right, we're getting somewhere. So what can tickle her pancreas, stack up a victim count of two and last for so long. I have a theory. As part of her art escapades and her history of violence, they set up one of her exhibitions in a military base. During that time, there could have been an outbreak and she thought she'd picked up just a normal cold, but actually ended up getting a chronic respiratory infection that would be hard to detect. That then passes to the assistant, begins affecting her other organs as it can cause pancreatitis and wouldn't necessarily show up on initial testing, the infection, mycoplasma pneumonia. They could diagnose it using a blood test and a couple of weeks of antibiotics and she'll be back to having her life threatened by the public instead of her disease. All right, I'm going for chronic mycoplasma infection as my second diagnostic guess. Let's get more clues. Why do you keep ducking your wife's calls? Ex-wife, I haven't told her yet. I'm trying to let her down easy. Rachel never wanted to have kids. I don't want to hurt her feelings. What is it? Oh. Just the nausea. She said her back was hurting earlier. Great turn to sign. That pancreatic cyst we drained, it's back. And she doesn't care at all. It's because she knows she can't do anything about it. Whatever she has is fatal. She shaved her head in an art piece four months ago. Uh, it was going to fall out anyway. Cancer. See that tumorish thingamajig? Primary CNS lymphoma with associated perineoplastic syndrome. Yes. You realize you could use your death to make your magnum opus. You're forging my name on prescriptions again. Yes. You filled this three days ago. Now it's almost half gone. Why are you still here? I'm going as soon as the nurse brings me something for my eczema. It's not eczema. It's not like cancer. It's regular granulomatosis. It's swelling of the blood vessels in your skin and the mass in your brain. It's much better to add another cause of radiation. I'm sorry, I can't do the radiation. I can't watch you die. Not when you can save yourself. Goodbye, that's son. 
No, 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 no. Don't tell me that this is Wegener's granulomatosis, now known as granulomatosis with polyangitis. They made that up, surely, to try and test her, see if she would get radiotherapy. I'm sure there's something else to this that they haven't picked up yet. Oh, I say that because the main treatment for vasculitis is immunosuppressants with steroids, not subjecting her already irradiated brain to another round of radiation. And also, I've guessed granulomatosis with polyangitis on so many episodes, so if I missed this, I will be gutted. Something here did pique House's interest, though enough for him to stop his journey home to dwelling Vicodin, and stay around. So why? Well, interestingly, Afsoon in the scanner, when he figured out that she had lymphoma, mentioned as well that she had vision and balance problems before they found her lymphoma, which is what led her there. What's interesting here though is actually they keep saying that she's not suicidal, she's not suicidal, she's not suicidal. Well, it seems like the news of her having an actual treatable condition hasn't made her happy at all. Maybe granulomatosis with polyangitis isn't the diagnosis, but also maybe it isn't CNS lymphoma either. If you add in the fact that maybe just maybe she actually is suicidal, you know, considering that she was upset that she wasn't burnt alive and all, it could be that it's a symptom of an organic condition. The team also mentioned granulomatosis with polyangitis, probably because diseases which cause granulomas, which is how they look under a microscope, named after their appearance, since they can mimic lymphoma of the central nervous system. There are other conditions that can also cause granulomas though and be infectious. I mean, some parasitic infections like acanthamoeba could potentially do it by causing granulomatous amoebic encephalitis. It can also cause skin infections and it could be treatable with some cocktail of antibiotics. It could be contracted from soil again, maybe from a performance. That could potentially work and affect both of them. Maybe the assistant will come back as he gets sick and needs treatment too. Why haven't they scanned his brain yet? Usually House would have probed him all the way to Mars by this point. Clearly, he's off his game. All right, I'm going for granulomatous amoebic encephalitis as my third and final diagnostic guess. We are locked in. And are we ever going to figure out what House did to start this whole catastrophe? Let's find out. Why did I ever ban alcohol from the cafeteria? House, talk to me. House, please, just talk. Do talk. you want to know how I feel? I feel hurt. I know. I'm sorry. It's not your fault. Hi. Um, Lisa Cuddy. I'm sorry about the other day. Good Chris. Point. I'm pregnant. I didn't expect that. Just came to grab the radiation therapy forms. I've soon changed her mind. Why? If you do this, you're a pathetic hypocrite. Why are you doing this? Get out. What do you think I should do today? Go home? Not tonight. I feel like a kid. Did House just drive a car into Cuddy's front room, say nothing, and then just walk out and fly to a beach? Our new season finales were supposed to be a wild ride, but this has set season eight up to be a wilder ride than a roller coaster secured by jelly bolts. Also, it was granulomatosis with polyangitis. I wanna kick myself for that, but there is about zero chance I would've got it. None of the localizing symptoms or signs really, so I will reluctantly accept that defeat, especially since they diagnosed it on a skin biopsy, not a plus for house. Great episode though, with the suspense at the start and then plot at the end, also plausible diagnosis, 8.4 out of 10 entertainment, 8.1 out of 10 diagnosis, and 8 out of 10 accuracy. This episode makes way more sense though when you watch the previous one where 13 gets an unexpected visitor.